Well, hello and welcome. I'm Impact Frames, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Confi UI SVD notes, which is for the stable video diffusion mode that just came out a few days ago that you need like a separate repo and 40 gig of VRAM to use. But this time, you can use it right here in Confi UI with just 20 gig of VRAM or maybe 16 gig of VRAM for the smallest mode. So it's super, super cool that we have it here. I'm going to show you how to use it and how to get these workflows that I made. And you can get these workflows from my coffee page or you can get them from the Confui workflows. It's free. You can get them from here. And for the repo, you can get the repo by uh, KJ Confui SVD. That's the one that I'm using. I'm going to show you how to install it and everything. And there is a second repo where you can use this thing, which is the uh, Confi UI Stable Video Diffusion. It's super cool. And here we are. You can see how crisp, cool the images, the output is out of this. You can see it here on my own experiment. Here we have one with image to video that this one is a, a bit simpler that you can load and it's super cool you can use this in maybe a metroidvania game here is another example here is one with some contextual information about the water and basically the mole understand that it needs to animate this this river and this uh, waterfall like uh, here in my in in my pixel art and you can see here that you can get this uh, from the notes at node and then you get the kj notes experimental and here you have the svd image to video okay so in the image to video you can select like the mold that you have and you can select the number of frames that you want to render if you are doing like this is the frames per second right and you have six in here if you have six in there and then you come with the video interpolation and multiply it by two then you have 12 right and if you have 12, it will be good to select the number of friends that, that is multiple of 12. So you can get 12, 24, 48, 96, and so on, right? Depends on how long you want your animation to be. And then you can manipulate your seed. You can use a fixed one if you want to use this in a, in a chain or something like that. And then you got a low VRA node here that this uh, low VRAM mode, it will allow you to unload the mode and stuff. So let's delete this from here. And here we have a very interesting node that concatenates different videos into one. And if we go and run this thing, it basically passes this prompt and it makes this animation in here at the top. I'm gonna come in here and actually run this with my with my little rover lunar, lunar mining operation that we have here. And let's do uh, run the cube. So I'm gonna hit Q from in here and you can see that it's loading the checkpoints and you can see more or less my V run and everything while I talk and show you other things. You can see how much V run is taking to render these things. And it shouldn't go over 16 because I'm using like a different video card for my recording. Yes, so we can go here actually and download the modes. And you have this SVD safe tensors if you want to get the image decoder too. Well, get it, but I will go with this one because the, the one without the image decoder in the name. It has like been trained in temporal diff, so it has a better consistency. If you want the other one, the XT, just get this uh, link and then uh, download them all, right? So let's go and clone this into our config UI and install this thing while, it, while it's rendering. And basically, we are going to go into the config UI Windows Portable, config UI, and then we have config UI nodes here. And in here, we can basically open a cmd by typing cmd in the search bar and now we can do git clone paste that uh, address that we came from the repo right and now we have it here on the repo 
And when you download the models, you will put it in SVD uh, checkpoints and they will be here, okay? So you download it, copy them inside this folder. Afterwards, if you want to install the, this repo, you have to come into the Python embed here, copy this, and go back into this, and you are in the custom nodes, so you need to move into the CD conf, uh, conf UI, I think it is. I think it's SVD. Right, so now that you are in there, you can paste that address for the Python embed and do python.x. Do s, do m, and in here, uh, pip install. R requirements dot text. Okay, so after you do that, uh, you probably okay. So sorry, got it like wrong. Thing in here uh, is requirement.txt and that should start installing the thing. Yeah, let's go back into the other thing. And if you want to install this one, well, you can install it, but the but the um, modes will go into an into a normal modes from ConfigUI. So it will go into modes uh, SVD, and inside that you can put it in there. Okay, so. Let's go back into this and see what we have. This is like the the notes that we get from the other repo, the ConfUI from the tech cool guy, but I like better the, the other one, the one from KJ. That's the one that I'm using. And let me see if I have it here. And as you can see, all renders are coming here. I don't know if you have kept an eye on the on the VRAM consumption, but this is looking super cool. I'm just gonna pause the video and show you that thing at the end. Okay, so finally we have the video in here and you can see like the concatenation of the video, how it came up. So I hope you like this video. Let me know if you're going to be using this. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like if you find it useful, interesting. Yes, please uh, keep on touch with these things. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice... Uh, and... And have a nice Thanksgiving holidays. Bye.